Oh, thank you so very much. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and um, <clears throat> see who we have with us this evening. And I'm gonna turn on my second light. I see that I'm missing a light. Okay, that might be a little better for the lighting situation. All right, so let's just go ahead and introduce ourselves. Uh, the first person I see over here is Ava. So uh, Ava, uh, you want to say hello? Hi, my, my name is Ava and I'm a senior, <laughs> obviously. All right, welcome to your final year. And let's see, uh, Anissa. You want to say something? Can we get your picture? I mean, can we see your face? Where is Anissa Gray? No, Anissa Gray. Oh, I'm do it this way. I'm going to have to come off of this for a minute. And let's see. We have Anna Luce. Anna Luce. Hi. Hi. Oh, there you are. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. And mom. And Ava's mom, too. All right. And let's see, we have Anissa. Where is Anissa? Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, she's saying she doesn't have the talk or the um, video on her computer right now. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, hello. Francesca. Hi. Hi. Hi, Francesca and mom. Hi. Good to see you again, Francesca. Good to see you too. And Miss Tita, Josiah's mom. Hello, everyone. Hold on, let me see my video. Hi, everyone. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. And where's um, Josiah? Um, he will in just. He'll be on shortly. Give him about maybe five minutes. I do apologize. We were taking care of something, but we'll t we'll be back. He'll be okay. here. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank okay. you. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Samara. Where is Samara? Are you there? Yeah, she just showed. She just waved. Oh, I missed her. Oh, there you are. Hey, Samara and mom. Yeah, and um, Anissa Gray is Phoenix Gray's mother. She just can't talk. Um, oh, okay. All right, good. Okay, all right. Well, hello, Phoenix and mom. All right. So, and we will be recording for the rest of our large uh, seniors. I don't know who they are. Some will be trickling in. And uh, most of you know me. I'm Dr. Ward, the CEO and principal. Ms. Drennan, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Hello, class of 2021. You are seniors. Mm -hmm. I am super excited. This is my favorite year. You get to talk to me and Cologne all the time. So <laughs> that's awesome. And we get to help you through your senior year and get you um, set up for whatever you want to do after high school. So we, I am super excited to be here and welcome you to your uh, senior year. And I look forward to working with everybody. Great. Thank you. And Mr. Russell. Hi everyone, Mr. Russell. Um, so I'm one part of our IT team, our tech team. Um, I manage all the technology and a lot of the student information systems. So if you or your scholar has issues with the laptop or power school or anything like that, you'll likely be working with uh, Ms. Aria or I. Okay, great. And Mr. Smith. Well, hello everyone. It's good to see everyone. Just uh, Ava Samara, uh, Ms. Uh, Josiah's mom. It's uh, always good, Anna Luz. Uh, Francesca and Anissa and her mom. Um, I'm Mr. Smith. I'm the wellness therapist at E3 Civic High, as if some of you may not know already, um, and some of you may. Um, it's just good to see you guys actually going into this year, um, a very profound year as far as like where you go on that next step. But um, again, um, this year I will provide mental health support for you as you make that transition because life is going to change. But um, not only with me helping, we've got some additional supports too. So we've expanded our help because we know what you guys are going through. All right, thank you so much. So we're going to, we always start with our mission and vision, then we'll <laughs> go over your daily schedule, 
uh, a little bit of the logistics, the calendar, just touching on the calendar, you will receive the calendar for the year this weekend. So look for that uh, in the weekly updates this Saturday. We'll touch on professional attire, attendance, and Zoom norms. Usually Dean Bowden does that, but it's his mom's 75th birthday today. So he is virtually celebrating with her. Then we'll do the parent portal and parent square with Mr. Russell, back to school night, a little bit of things that you might want to get in preparation for the beginning of the school year. We'll touch on the E3 website, academics, most important part for you as seniors, and uh, college prep. That's is really gonna be all about college prep right now um, and getting you to finish up this book and start the next book of life. Okay, so the mission and vision of E3 Civic High, three E's to engage, to educate and empower our learning community to be caring that's a new word we added because if you're not caring, the rest really doesn't matter. So to be caring, passionate, lifelong learners, prepared for college and civic leaders. What happened to our civic leaders? Oh my Lord. And civic leaders prepared for college, workforce and life in an ever changing environment. Hmm, that's very odd. Civic leaders is missing and that's a huge part of who we are. All right, daily schedule and logistics. Ms. Strenning. Yes, good afternoon, everybody. So the virtual learning schedule is linked to this. And like Dr. Ward said, you're going to get an email this weekend with all of these great attachments. Um, but the schedule is very much the same as our spring virtual schedule. Um, the, the times are just about the same. We're giving you just over an hour for lunch. Um, the only thing that's a little bit different this year are, is Fridays. Fridays start with eBlock. So you'll have eBlock from 9 a.m. to 1030. You'll have PEL, which is our personalized learning time right after that. And you get some lunch and then we'll follow that up with our design thinking. But you guys this year are in college prep. So you will have me and Ms. Cologne and obviously your LFs to help you get through all of those different things. And we'll talk about that a lot more um, in the afternoon. And you also notice we do have tutoring available every single afternoon. So Mondays through Thursdays, tutoring is from 3.30 to 4.30. Fridays from 2.30 to 3.30, and we'll still have our virtual Saturday Academy and our virtual parent collaborative, which we'll talk about a lot more. Um, so this schedule will be coming to you soon. All right, thank you. Okay, um, we all start online next Monday or this coming Monday, August 31st. School begins for everyone online at 8.30 a.m. Uh, and then in a few weeks, three weeks in or so, we hope to open up in person um, instruction and that will only be for 120 kiddos because we cannot exceed the state and county guidelines with the uh, social distancing. So you've received a survey. The survey is here again and the survey will be um, included in this presentation which will be going out to you and then it'll also be in our uh, Saturday weekly announcements. So please complete the survey. Let us know if you want to be 100% online or 100% in person. We'll talk a little bit about professional attire and Zoom later, so I'll skip that for now. Calendar and important updates. We're going to send home the calendar for the entire year, the academic calendar this weekend. So you'll be receiving that. But then here are just a few dates for you to keep in mind right now. Uh, Monday, August 31st, again, is the first day of school. The FAFSA DREAM Act and UC CSU applications become available to you on October the 1st. And then October the 2nd is the end of our first reporting period. That's when you want to watch, make sure that, and then um, actually Ms. Strenning will talk more about the importance of that one as well a little later. Student-led conferences, this will be your last student-led conferences, uh, and that will be the week of November 16th through 19th your last student-led conferences, because in the spring, you're gonna be doing your presentations of learning to a large audience. So those are some things to look forward to. And the last one there you see, May 1st, Decision Day. So this is a really big year. Okay, Ms. Drenning. Yeah, so now that you are seniors and all of our senior parents, I know we've met with you throughout the years in various different parent meetings, but now you get to see us a lot more. 
Um, so for our seniors, we definitely meet a lot throughout the year to make sure that um, we give you all the information you may need. We can answer any questions. Um, so we're going to kick off that uh, College 101 meeting for seniors on Thursday, October 1st at 5 p.m. Um, we also have our yearly college application workshop. This is one that you definitely want to put on your calendar. We have it on Saturday, October 24th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's where you can come in and get your FAFSA done, your DREAM Act, college applications and all that. I don't know if that will be in person or virtual, but either way, we are going to host it and we're going to make sure that we provide you support to get those um, applications in that is needed. Um, then we follow that up with a College 102 meeting in January, more about financial aid, scholarships, that kind of stuff, because at that time, those college applications should probably be um, around finishing. Then we have another one in April to go over more award letters, next steps, how you go about the financial aid process and making sure that you um, complete your enrollment. And then on Saturday, April 24th from 9 a.m. to 12, we usually have a community college workshop where we invite all of our fantastic community colleges over to campus or last time we did it virtually and you can talk with them about their programs. You can get that application done on the spot. They can tell you exactly what you need to do. So it's very, very helpful if you are thinking about a community college to attend that. But otherwise, like we'll talk about a little bit later, if you want to meet with either myself or Ms. Cologne, please do, please send us an email. This is our favorite part about our job. It's helping you to figure out what you wanna do, finish up those um, courses that you need, apply to colleges, apply to scholarships, apply to financial aid. So we are here to help you. So please schedule an individual meeting and we'd be happy to sit down with you virtually at this point. <laughs> and then Saturday Academy, uh, if you, would like to just join on Saturdays if you need more help always feel free to join on Saturdays uh, for our Saturday Academy while we're online it will be from 10 to 12 p.m. and we'll be supporting in English math social studies and science beginning September 19th okay parent collaborative mr. Smith take it away so as we know like as the um, scholars make this transition this big transition into this new year we know they're going to be experiencing a lot more emotions and a lot more feelings and a lot more needs as far as support. Um, and honestly, it may start affecting some of the parents. So we wanted to create a safe environment for the parents to come in and talk about what they're going through. Because if we can provide that safe space for us to be okay, it um, provides them with that opportunity to go on to college. Because some of our scholars may be going abroad. They may be going overseas. They may be going as far you know, away as, you know, England or, you know, just Europe, but it's just preparing the families. So that's what we want to do. So the SAT testing, the PSAT testing, and that college road, that's something that's super important. And then when we meet with the parents, we do discuss these items and some of the parents may have visited with me already. So they may know some of these things. So it's the parenting styles. So we've got these types of styles that we can determine how we are communicating with our kids. It's not to tell you you're doing it right. It's not to tell you you're doing it wrong. It's just to be able to understand a little bit more about how your child is developing in these years, because it might be a, a stretch for, to let them go. I know ninth graders coming in and now they're 12th graders. So it will be a definite change. And definitely the last thing that we're talking about when we're talking about the kids is the brain development. So helping them go on to be able to go to college and then providing additional supports when they do go with the referral liaisons that we have as a mental health clinician on those universities and campuses all throughout this country. And I haven't done it overseas yet, but I'm just waiting for somebody to give me that opportunity. All right. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Okay, our weekly updates. I mentioned earlier that uh, you will be receiving weekly updates this weekend. Uh, in the weekly updates, you should look for the virtual calendar. You should also look for the academic calendar, which has everything that we'll be doing throughout the year. Um, included in that will also be the survey. And uh, there is one other thing. So you should look, there will be about four or five attachments in this week's um, updates, including something that we really need to have back from all of our families. And that is our income verification forms and then our computer, um, computer, what are they called, Connor? The computer the forms? Computer loan agreements. The computer loan agreements. So those will be coming out this Saturday 
with your weekly updates. Now, if you for some reason are not receiving the weekly updates, please call the front desk at the number listed here, 619-546-0000. And uh, those weekly updates will be going out through a new um, venue, which is Parent Square, and Mr. Russell will talk about that too. Now, weekly update, updates come at 12 and five every Saturday. Professional attire. I'll just talk about this briefly since Dean Bowden is not here. You're all seniors, so you know all the professional attire. Don't need to really spend too much time on that. We've added blue, uh, navy blue pants as well. And that was uh, added last year after one of our seniors went through student council and the board to add that um, to our professional attire. For our seniors and for all of our kiddos actually, um, while we are at home, we are still going to be in professional attire. And I think I'm gonna cover that just a little down here, just a little further. Tuesdays will be tie Tuesday, whether we're on campus or in the virtual world. And um, Thursdays will continue to be spirit day, including military branch shirts, E3 club shirts and summer bridge shirts. And the first week though is a spirit week. So the first week we will not be in our professional attire, but instead we will hopefully be participating in spirit week. The first day is dressed as your favorite role model, whoever that might be. Tuesday, wear something with stars or stripes. Wednesday is wear red, white, and or blue. Thursday, is wear your college spirit shirts or your school spirit shirts or your uh, class shirts. And you are the class of 2021 and you, your color is red, so you can wear something in red or your red class shirt. Okay, and then Friday, the last day of our first week is dressed as your future career. And that's really important to our seniors, right? So we're getting ready to go off to college, community college, and all of that is to get to the end of community college or college, which is to get to the career. So dress as your favorite career. And uh, the first night back, August 31st, we also have trivia night. Francesca Dale could tell us a little bit more about that. And the first Friday back, we have movie night. Francesca, is there anything to add to the trivia night that I may have missed? Um, the trivia night will be separated by grades. So ninth grade goes to one, 11th grade, 10th grade, and 12th grade. And it's just a time for everyone to reconnect and get to know the new students. All right, awesome. Thank you, Francesca. Francesca is a member of our ASB and so is Ava, as a matter of fact. Aren't you Ava? Ava, are you on ASB? I am, I'm a senior class rep. So you wanna tell us about movie night on Friday? Yeah, so everybody's going to have a survey and by grade level and they're going to vote on which movie and then we'll have an LF um, put it on the Zoom screen and then everybody will watch a movie together. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so that's Spirit Week. Uh, there's one more, the attendance policy and I guess Zoom comes after attendance. Well, you know the, the, the drill with attendance. Attendance is extremely important and as seniors, it's even more important. And last year, what we found at the end of the year was that we almost had perfect attendance with our seniors when we went to the virtual because they were really concerned about making sure they finished very strong. So they were there. Uh, so your attendance is very important. Um, we're gonna all have independent study contracts this year. That is the other thing that's gonna go out this weekend is an ISC, independent study contract. It's called the universal one, which means that you just sign it one time and it covers the whole year. So if you're out, you have to be out ill or something, you just call in and say you want to use your ISC for the day, okay, instead of having to fill out everything each time. All right, and then Zoom norms, huh. the land of Zoom. Um, I don't know if you guys were there, but I think it was our seniors at the sometime in March, late March last year, one of the seniors asked me, uh, Dr. Ward, yes, he said, Dr. Ward, what stock should we purchase? If we were gonna purchase a stock, what should we purchase? And I said, well, what are you using now? He said, Zoom. I said, well, everybody has to use Zoom. Seems to me that would be a good stock to purchase. And by the way, Zoom has gone up three times since that time. 
So if you had invested $100, then you would have $300 today, okay? So Zoom norms, be present, active listening, asking questions and making connections. So this year, we really wanna hear more of your voice. We want more of your choice and your voice. So uh, we should be talking less and you should be talking more. More group work, more presentations, and then in your um, assignments, really looking, having more choice in what part of that you do your research in, okay? Um, you'll have more breakout room with your, with your groups, and then some camera off times where you'll be gone to do your presentation, your, your research, um, and then camera back on. So remember to be respectful, share the air, um, allow others to do the same, and be visible. So just as last year, it's a, uh, required that your cameras are on, right? Um, and that's good for your mental health and it's good for your LF's mental health as well because it's a terrible thing to be staring into little black boxes the entire day, right? So we need the, the cameras on. Um, and then designate a quiet space where you want to do your work. And last but not least, and then I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Smith to add a little bit, is we're gonna be in our professional tops this year. So we will all have to get out of bed, wash our faces at least, brush teeth, get hair ready, and put on our professional tops every day, okay? So professional tops. Um, go ahead, Mr. Smith. And this definitely does play um, into your mental health. Um, and it is really simple because it seems as though like the 12th graders, you guys understand it, with regards to being able to see each other with trivia night and the game night or the movie night, you're actually still doing it on Zoom. It's that connection that you make with your brain and your brain does a type of connection. But getting up in the morning, establishing the routine, getting up, um, it changes your whole um, outlook in your brain waves it definitely has a big impact on you. So having the camera on and being able to see someone is a lot different from just seeing um, just a blank screen with a, just a word on it. You don't really make that connection and your brain does know that. So it's good to know that you guys are doing that and starting off with the first week to having that trivia night and, and movie night. So you're knowing that, you're understanding that connection. Thank you, Mr. Smith. All right, Parent Portal, Mr. Russell. Hi everyone. So we. Um, this year we will still have the PowerSchool Parent Portal and the Scholar Portal. So it's a really great way to monitor your grades, attendance, individual assignments. Um, you can use it on an iPad, a computer. If you have an Android phone, iOS phone, there's apps that have push notifications. So when an uh, LF or a, a teacher changes a grade, you get a little push notification that something gets entered. Um, it's a really great way to monitor your progress or your scholar's progress. Um, if you had an account last year or in previous years at E3, your same account will still work. So um, don't worry about creating a new one. It, what we're gonna do this year is if we see that you don't have an account, we're gonna go through and send you a uh, instructions to your email. Um, something we're going to roll out this year that we think is really great is Parent Square. Um, it's going to replace some of the tools that we use in the back end for mass communication and notification. So Parent Square is really going to be um, kind of the hub or social network for um, parents and scholars to see what's going on in uh, the entire school or grade level or classes. Um, LFs and staff members are going to use it to communicate with parents, classes, scholars, uh, there's automatic real-time translation to help reduce the language barrier. Um, there's a lot of really great features like um, we're going to use it for SLC signups and, and some events like that. So you will receive an email with access instructions. Um, I think scholars already got one and parents should be getting one soon. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, and there's also, sorry, I forgot. There's also a really great app for Android, iPhone. Uh, you can use a website, iPad browser. It's, it's pretty accessible. All right, back to school shopping list. Hold on, we have a great question from Miss Gray. Um, she has two scholars at E3 this year. Will she have two separate logins? And how does no, that that's a really good question. Both, yes. both PowerSchool and ParentSquare, you can see both scholars in with the same login. So you, you won't need to create uh, separate logins. Um, 
I think Phoenix was with E3 last year. So um, there's a process where you can just add uh, your new scholar so you don't have to create a new login. That's yeah, a really good question. It's a 12th grader and then she'll have a ninth grader coming in. Yeah. All right. Okay, so professional attire, our professional shirts, right? So we'll be uh, required to wear those. You can purchase those through the online E3 store. We'll show you where, um, just in case you need that information. Laptop cases will be coming sometime later this month. Uh, backpacks once you're back on campus. And then water bottles, you'll need water bottles because we will not be able to use our drinking fountains uh, for quite some time. So bring the water bottles, okay? Notebooks, we'll be providing most of your notebooks, but if you want pens and pencils, you uh, might wanna purchase some of those. Highlighters, if you like writing, uh, uh, reading books and highlighting or highlighting your notes, then it would be great to have some highlighters. And uh, planners, so if you are a planning person that needs to write it down, uh, rather than use your which are also really good. Now, we are going to be providing you with a bag of goodies, and that will come out later in the month of September, and that will include resources for your classes, uh, notebooks, um, supplies for design thinking, and then more supplies for design thinking will come down the road once you uh, develop your uh, problem of practice that you want to solve later in November or December. Then you get the, the, the big bag of all those other things if we're not back on campus. But you'll still get your books, uh, notebooks, things for science if you're in science, things like that will be in your resource bag, which you'll get in a few weeks. You'll also get a, a noise canceling headphone with a mic, okay? So that will be coming later this month as well, okay? Help us out so we can keep out the distractions. Okay, uh, E3 Civic High website, here we go, Ms. Strenning. Yeah, so if anybody's been on the website lately, it has been completely rehabbed and it looks awesome. You can probably see some familiar faces as they scroll through. But this is a great place to go if you have any questions or if you're just needing resources. If you scroll to the bottom on our uh, main page, you can see our upcoming events. So you'll be able to see any school events. And with all the changes, you never know what's gonna happen. So we'll always make sure to update this. Um, and then on the top, if you go up to the top, if you need any staff um, contact information, emails, you can easily go to that, the staff directory, and any other information you might need to have on the about part. Um, for you guys being seniors, academics, if you go to academics, and then prep for college and career, I usually update that pro part with like scholarships and all different kinds of stuff, as well as put it on um, Google Classroom, which we'll talk about later. And then another important one for you, since you'll probably be applying to many colleges, and we're gonna talk about transcript requests, but if you need to um, request a transcript for maybe an internship or a job, or you just want a copy of that official transcript, you can easily do that right here on the, on the website. That'll go straight to Ms. Carter, and then she will get that transcript sent to wherever it might need to go. Um, but as a senior, we are gonna talk to you a lot more in college prep on um, transcript requests and how you go about it. There's a few different ways you go about it, depending on what where you need your transcript to go but the website is a, a huge resource and then there's the op, uh, reopening section where it gives you a bunch of different resources about our reopening plan mental health resources if you need student meals financial support all kinds of stuff like that so please make sure you visit our website if you need anything and we'll also post this presentation as well as the recording on our website so that way you'll always have it And then here is our favorite part. By now, you must know our graduation requirements. Again, we'll go through it when we start school. Um, our graduation requirements meet, if not exceed, our A through G requirements. Just for a reminder, our A through G requirements are a set of requirements that are set down from the um, University of California and the California State University for our high school students to complete in order to um, even be able to apply to their colleges. So we make sure we want to set you up in the best possible way so all those doors are open for you. Um, and with that, all of those courses must be passed with a C or higher right now. Um, that way we can keep those doors open for you for the CSUs and the UCs. 
And then some other graduation requirements. I know in the spring you weren't able to take that SAT school day. We are working out an option for you to be able to take the SAT on campus. So please stay tuned for that. Um, and then some other great things that you need to look forward to for your senior year is your senior presentation of learning. I know you've sat through three of these so far if you've been at E3 since ninth grade, but this is our favorite day of the year probably where our seniors can really reflect on their four years of high school. What were the great things? What were the obstacles? How did you get through them? Because the obstacles are what makes you, you know, like that's how you learn. That's how you want to strive to be is like, just to kind of move on and keep going and trying to be your best self. So senior presentations of learning are required for all of our seniors and we look forward to hearing all of yours. You will also have to complete your senior workforce development course, which is your internship. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. And then you complete your senior design thinking course. I know you've had design thinking for the last couple of years and now this is really your capstone. And maybe Dr. Ward can talk a little bit more about what our past seniors have done in their design thinking. And it's super exciting um, and thrilling about the, the prospects of what you can do in that course. Along with all of those courses, in college prep, which we'll talk about next week, you will have to submit your financial aid application, whether that's the FAFSA or the DREAM Act. You will have to submit at least one four-year application, if not more. We wanna make sure that there's all kinds of possibilities out there for you after high school. And then you will also have to submit at least one scholarship, if not 10, who doesn't like free money? So we want you to make sure that you are um, keeping all of these options open for you so that way when you leave us at E3 that you are set up for whatever you want to do. And then here are our 12th grade courses. Most of you know that you probably only need a couple things, which is usually your English, your fourth year of English, so that's the, your um, ERWC or your AP English Lit, which you chose in the spring. Then you also have to um, complete your U.S. government and your econ, which your U.S. government will be a really cool class to go through during the actual election. Um, we definitely made sure that you were taking the U.S. government during the election time. So look forward to that class. I know Ms. Lewis is really looking forward to that. If you still need to um, complete your third level of math or even more, um, you would have math. Then you have some room for electives. I know a lot of you have wanted to take magicals or drama or maybe an AP course that, that there's a lot of room for that. And then mod four, you always have a design thinking course on your A day and your workforce development, which is your internship on your B day. Miss Woods couldn't be here today, but she wanted to um, make sure that she let everybody know that this semester there will be no in-person internships until at least semester two, if possible. We're gonna see how it goes at that point. But she's also still looking into remote internship opportunities. So you will still have opportunities for an internship. Mm -hmm. And then we have our eBlock. Like I said, eBlock is on Friday morning. I do want to say, we do have a lot of you that are in attendance today in our um, college courses. We still have a few spots in our city college Introduction to Political Science course, which is going to be taught by Ms. Furlong or Ms. Pruitt, however you knew it, knew her. Um, and we have a few spots available. The deadline is coming soon. So if you are interested in joining that class, please, please, please reach out to me right away so that way I can get you into that class. I actually want to take that class. It sounds so cool. Yeah. All right. And design thinking, um, before we get into schedule changes, let me just see if I have it here. So design thinking for our seniors, I don't know if you know, but you'll be, some of you will be part of uh, something called PACPOL. And that is a uh, group of uh, teams from across the country. And it's, uh, the headquarters is in Northern California. And if we weren't in this space, then you would be going to the Google site in San Francisco for the kickoff in October. But this year, it's going to be virtual. And uh, you will compete against seniors or high schoolers, actually, um, from the Cupertino area. That means kids whose parents work for Google, Apple, Washington State with Microsoft, um, New York, the, the state of New York. And then you also have some students from Pennsylvania and Texas that compete. And last year, I think our juniors know that our seniors took first place, right? 
So we took first place in that competition. Um, and we intend to be serious uh, contenders again this year in that. We'll have more teams involved this year. Uh, we also have another, a, a number of other uh, competitions that our seniors can be involved in around DT. One of the projects from this year, the Infinity Clip, uh, the team that won first place, they're gonna continue working on that now. They wanna take that to full production um, and begin to sell it, so that moves on. So you have the opportunity to begin something here and continue that for as long as you would like to. One of the things that we want to bring to our seniors through DT is starting your own business, right? So even if you're going on to college, you have your own business, you can make a little money on the side while you're going to college and um, running that business. Yeah, so schedule changes. We're gonna have a, a little bit of a change this year. I know I've probably talked to a couple of you about changing your schedule so far, um, but you will have the first reporting period in order to like request a schedule change. There is going to be a deadline this year um, and you must fill out the schedule ch change request form. We're probably gonna be sending that out tomorrow. So if you do, or if you're looking on PowerSchool and you wanna change something, just fill that form out. Um, your counselor will evaluate the changes and if it's possible, we will email you and we'll chat you, we'll let you know what's going on, but make sure you're answering your emails in case we have a question because it might be you giving up a different option in order to take that course. Um, so make sure you're answering your G chats and your emails if we reach out to you. Um, the main thing that we need is making sure, especially all you 12th graders have all your graduation requirements. So we cannot change a course that is needed for graduation, such as workforce development, such as DT, such as your English, your US government and econ. So those are like necessary for you to graduate. So Friday, October 2nd is the last day that you can um, change a course. After that date, if you change a course, you will receive a W on your transcript. So that just simply means withdrawal. So colleges will see that, hey, they took that, but then they withdrew after that deadline. And that's a big thing to get used to in colleges because that's a real thing. Um, you get Ws if you withdraw after a deadline. And it's not the worst thing, but if you have multiple Ws, the college is gonna kind of look at that and reconsider some things. Um, so that's kind of how you do schedule changes. We're going to send that out to you tomorrow-ish. Um, and please give your counselor a couple days to respond because we will get to you. We just want to make sure that we can look at all the options for you. And then, as you guys know, I'm sure you all know how to organize, but this is going to be a busy year. I know 11th grade was stressful with all the testing, but adding on all the college stuff, is going to be very stressful. And we have a lot of seniors that just kind of, I don't know what to do. First of all, talk to us because we can help you through it. Second of all, organize yourself, have a planner, make sure that you know what to do when, because you're gonna have a lot of deadlines. There's gonna be things that are out of our E3 control, such as college deadlines, FAFSA deadlines, um, different things that you need to get done that we don't have control over. Um, but you have to make sure that you're submitting all of those documents on time. Make sure you have a planner, write a list of to-dos every day, make sure you're writing down your usernames and your passwords. The biggest thing I can tell my seniors is to write down your usernames and passwords because you will need them and I don't have access to get them. <laughs> um, and then study skills, you probably have this down pat by now, but if you need help or you have questions, please ask us. We are all here to help you through whatever you're going through. Um, and if we don't have the answers, we are going to go to somebody that does have the answers. Make sure you're setting time aside after school for homework and studying three to four hours a night. And this is nothing compared to what college will give you. So this is great practice this year to get into that mind frame to be studying all the time on, on your own. Um, and then utilizing tutoring and resources offered. We have tutoring every day. If you need help, come and get it. And we're gonna offer a lot of resources for you to be able to get your college applications done, your scholarships, your financial aid. Please, please, please take advantage of those. We do not wanna see you on November 30th when those applications are due and you have not started that application. There are, there's plenty of time and we're gonna to get to that to the next slide. Um, yeah, all things college right there. You have plenty of time with us to make sure that you get everything done. So if you're stressing out, don't worry about it. We got your back. 
We just need you to make sure that you're there and you're present and you're getting stuff done as we're there. You do have college prep. All of our seniors have college prep on Fridays from 1 p.m. to 2.30. You have your um, college prep LF, but then you're really with me and Ms. Cologne. We're gonna be going through college presentations. We have a college 101 to talk about college applications. We have a financial aid 101 to talk about financial aid. And then we'll break it out to like, you wanna to apply to a UC, a CSU, if you wanna apply in the Common App. So we'll have breakout sessions, like depending on your needs. Um, throughout the whole months of probably September, October, November to make sure that you get that all done. If that's not enough time, we also have advisories, some advisory periods, not, not all, um, but those are Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays from 1050 to 1150. We usually kind of have a drop-in session, so you'll have time to work on your college applications or whatever you are working on, but if you need help, you can come to see me and Ms. Cologne and we can walk you through that process. If you need more help, we are available before school, after school, during lunch, or set up an individual meeting with your counselor. I don't wanna hear anybody say that, I didn't have any time to get this done, because you do, you just have to make sure that you're utilizing your time. We are here to help you, and we don't want anybody to stress. It is stressful, but if you take your time and prioritize, you're all good. And Ms. then- Ms. Sterling, can I add something really quick? Sure. For the you, you guys that are out there that are planning to get all these things done, you do have to plan for self-care. You have to add that in as far as like your experience. If you don't, it won't happen. And your body definitely needs it. So definitely going through these things to set time aside for you to be okay. Because you're going to feel inundated with a lot of stuff. It happens every year, but we're able to get all the scholars through. So we want to make sure that you do have a good plan as far as taking care of yourself. Yeah, and I do want to go off on that. Like there is going to be a lot, but what helps is making sure you're prioritizing. Like I'm going to do this this day and I'm going to do this this day because you don't want to come all of a sudden at the end of November and be like, I have to do my FAFSA, my applications, my essays, all of this stuff when you've had plenty of time. So that's the best advice I can give you is take your time, do one thing at a time and then you'll feel good. And we are all here to help you. Um, just make sure you're not procrastinating or like waiting till the last minute for things. You can start your essays now. You can start on a bunch of stuff right now. And you won't actually be able to procrastinate because you <laughs> have college prep every week. And so you will not have that opportunity. Someone will be requiring things along the way. There is a timeline. So there's no way to procrastinate. Mm -hmm. um, and then another good tool that we'll be using is our class of 2021 Google Classroom, which you should all be invited to parents if we have your email I hope that you're invited to that as well. But this is going to be a big platform that we're going to be sharing um, a lot of scholarships there's a ton of videos to help you through the FAFSA or the financial aid process there's a ton of videos to walk you through the different applications. So I will be posting those as I get them. So that's a great resource for you to go to. And also email, that is the one of the biggest thing. If it's not Google Classroom, it's email. Make sure you're reading your emails. I've already sent out a bunch of scholarships to both our senior class and our parents. Um, but email is the way that you're gonna get a lot of the information. A college might email you and say, hey, thank you for your application, but I also need this. You have to check that. If you do not check that and send that item, there is nothing we can really do to help that. That is beyond E3's control. Um, so you have to make sure that you are checking your email because sometimes that's the only way colleges will let you know they're missing something or by checking your portal. And we will go through all of this a lot more in depth in college prep to get you um, all set up for that. All right. And finally, our 12th grade learning facilitators, in case you didn't know who they were here they are. Hi, we're the 12th grade team. My name is Cindy Lewis and I'm going into my fourth year at E3. I'll be teaching government and economics. Hello, my name is Mr. Rogitz. Uh, I teach anatomy and physiology, AP bio, brain bio, and DT and workforce. And it's going to be my fifth year at E3. Hi, I'm Lauren Boyd and this is my second year here at E3. Where's Lauren? I teach the ERWC Expository Writing course for seniors and also AP Literature and Composition. Hello, Ms. Woods. I'll be teaching Workforce Development and Design Thinking for the 12th grade. 
I am Mary Ellen True, and I have been here at E3 for five years. I am the educational specialist, and I will be working with students who have special needs in 10th and 12th grade. Hi, my name is Karina Hella. I'm a math tutor, and I have just been working at E3 for a couple of months last semester. And she's an E3 grad, Hi, now at SDS. I am also a tutor, and I just started. All right, so uh, I do want to go back to Karina. She is one of our grads. She's a senior this year at San Diego State, majoring in math education. Okay, oops. So think tank on school uh, reopening is going to be 9-3-2020. That's next Thursday at 2 p.m. Uh, if you're interested in uh, hearing the reopening plans, hopefully for September 21st, uh, please join us at 2 p.m. If you want to share any ideas, give us feedback on the reopening plans. That's going to be next Thursday. And here's the link, and it's going to be included in our um, in the recording and the slide deck. And that's it for this evening. We want to thank you all for your time. We'll stick around if you have questions. Um, but enjoy your year. This is the end of your first book of life, really. Uh, that you can remember. And so we're coming to the end of 13 years, kindergarten through 12th grade. So enjoy it. Enjoy it even in the COVID-19 space. Be inspired by a, a new environment, right? So think about ways to innovate in this new environment. Think about ways to create things with, with DT this year. Just think about how we can make the world a better place. I mean, in the, in the last six months, so many new things have been created. And so don't think about this as a sad time, but really an opportunity to innovate, be inspired, okay? So that's it from us. I wanna thank you all for coming out. Team, I wanna thank you for uh, being here throughout the week as we met with our parents. Here, are our, uh, here is our contact information. If you have any questions, please reach out. And then again, we'll be hanging around for a little bit if anyone has any questions. Thank you so very much.